the House of Assembly this week. Land grabbing allegation. Oku Assembly passes resolution recommending suspension, prosecution of Olu of Oba family. Ogu Assembly amends Oba's and Chief's law, commends Abiodun Daniel on establishment of naval base. Ogu intervenes as Kara Market Traders signs MOU with government on December relocation deadline. These and many more will come to your viewing pleasure in the course of the program. The passage of the bill for a law to amend the Obas and Chiefs Council of Obas and Traditional Council Laws of Ogun State 2021 was passed at the plenary presided over by the Speaker, Right Honorable Oludai Lemide, consequent upon the presentation of the report of the Committee on Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs presented by its Vice Chairman, Honorable Dixon Awolaja, who thereafter moved for its adoption seconded by the majority leader, Honorable Yusuf Sharif, and supported by the whole house through a voice vote. Report of the Committee on Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs on House Bill Number 001-OG-2023. Mr. Speaker, sir, we members of your Committee on Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, to whom was referred House Bill Number 001 slash OG slash 2023, a bill for a law to provide for an approval method for the selection, appointment, and regulation of Obas and chiefs, and chiefs in Ogun State and related matters 2023, have seen under consideration an appeal to recommend that the bill do pass with the following amendment. Under clause 18, insert the subsection, subsection 2 to read, irrespective of any circumstances surrounding the vacancy of a chieftaincy stool, there shall be no vacuum exceeding two years after the transition of an over. The power of the executive council to upgrade the stool or partnership to a coronet stew shall be exercised on the recommendation of such upgrade by the prescribed authority who shall be the upper of the area to the traditional council to which the body or stew belongs. Under post 36, after subsection 2, inside subsection 3, to read an over in charge shall have the power to regulate and discipline minor chiefs within his prescribed authority in line with the principle of fair hearing. Clause 62. After clause 61, insert clause 62 to read the old law number 
469-OG-2021, a bill for a law to provide for an approved method for the selection, appointment, and recognition of others and chiefs in Ogun State and for other related matters is hereby revealed. Schedule 3. Under Abel Kuta North Local Government Council, delete Olu of Ashasi, Ija Ititun, and Olu of Inupeju Okeudu, Nagura. Under Abel Kuta Local Government Council, add Olu of Idioki. Under Ifo Local Government Council, delete Olu Lepa of Ilepa. Olu of Kota Town, Olu of Ibogun, Oshun Boli, Olu of Ibogun, Olopan, Olu of Ibogun, Olu of Ibogun, Olaogun, Olu of Ibogun, Balogun, under Ijebu East Local Government Council, delete Ala Dekan of Okiaro and Lamodi of Ishiwo. Under Ijebu Ode Local Government Council, add Aladekan of Okiaro and Lamodi of Ishiwo. Under Imekoafon Local Government Council, add Alale of Morimi. Under Ipokia Local Government Council, add Alanye Oniro of Iro Agunke under Abafemi Owole Local Government Council delete Olu of Ide and replace with Olu of Owe under Odeda Local Government Council delete Olu of Olile Itesi and I will give you another one here and one Thereby, no do, mention that this report to be adopted. The bill was later read and adopted clause by clause before the Committee of the Whole House, after which the motion for the third reading of the bill was moved by the Majority Leader Yusuf Sharif, seconded by the Minority Leader Lukman Adileye, and supported by the Whole House through a unanimous voice vote. Thereafter, the Clerk and Head of Legislative Service, Shakiru Adebaki, read the bill for the third time. Mr. Speaker, sir, Honorable Members, House Bill Number 071-OG 2023. A bill titled Ogun State Power Sector Law 2024 to improve electricity generation, transmission, and distribution within Ogun State, establish an electricity market and key power sector bodies, enforce consumer rights and obligations, and for other connected purposes, scaled first reading, has the Assembly Clerk Shakiru Adebaki read the title of the bill before the lawmakers. Mr. Speaker, sir, members. House Bill Number 017/OG/2024, Ogun State Power Sector Law 2024, first reading. Also, the Assembly commended the State Governor Prince Takwa Biodo for giving and delivering the approval for the 100 hectares of land meant for the establishment of a naval base in the state, while lauding the Senator representing Ogun East Senatorial District, Senator Binga Daniel, for facilitating the project through its inclusion in the 2024 National Appropriation Act. The Assembly gave the commendation while responding to the presentation of a member representing Ogun Waterside State Constituency, Honorable Lawal Shamsuddin, 
who lauded the efforts of the state governor and the senator in the establishment of the naval base in his constituency. The assembly posited that the project upon takeoff would boost security networks of the area and the state at large. My name is Honorable Awa of I want to use this hour to thank the uh, Excellency, uh, Prince Akwabio of COA, because um, last week we have a CO, CO4, 1,000, that is um, 100 hectares, that is 250 hectares, given to the Naba base that want to operate in the water side. I want to use this video because They've been on this issue for almost 10 to 15 years. And the governor can do this for the people of the water side and the state in general. That's what I want to appreciate on behalf of the entire people of the water side for giving us, for giving us this beautiful number base in our environment because we are water siders. And I want to thank him once again. I want to thank OGD, Senator Otubak, Dr. Baker Daniel. I want to thank His Excellency also for giving us a CO4 of 100 hectares of land. Thank you very much, God bless. Presenting the report of the Committee on Justice, Ethics and Public Petitions on the petition received from Agboro Latunde Community Development Association on alleged land grabbing against Olu of Obafemi, Obata Ofik Owolabi, the Vice Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Obasunde Tela, noted that the House received a petition on January 29th from the community against the traditional ruler. He explained that in a bid to amicably resolve the issue raised by the petitioner and to avert possible breakdown of law and order in the state, the committee invited both parties for a meeting. According to the report, the committee embarked on the spot assessment of the land under contention and observed that the action of the traditional ruler is contrary to the anti-land law 2016 of Ogun State. The petition alleged that Obawulabi brought a developer to Agboro Olatunde village where over 30 hectares of land belonging to the residents of the village were cleared. I hereby present the report of the House Committee on Justice and Public Petition on the petition receipt from Agboro Olatunde Community Development Association against Oba Tafik Kayo the Olabi, the Olu of Oba Femi. The House received a petition dated 29th January 2024 from Agboro Olatunde Community Development Association, the Olu of Oba Femi land, who was alleged of land grabbing by the petitioner. In a bid to amicably resolve the issues, raised by the petitioners and to avert possible breakdown of law and order in the state as a result of the land dispute between the petitioner and the respondent, the committee invited the parties involved to meetings held on Monday 8th, Wednesday 10th and Wednesday 17th of July 2024 respectively at Kung 215 of the House of Assembly Complex Okay, Muslim, Abel, sir. One thing. After sending the first invitation for a meeting to the parties involved in the petition, the respondent, through his counsel, wrote the house and requested for the postponement of the meeting to a later date on the ground that the date scheduled for the meetings clashed with the date of a court hearing on a case that involves the mother. The House, having considered the request of the respondent, communicated the postponement of the meeting to Wednesday 10th and Wednesday 17th July 2024 to his counsel, but unfortunately the respondent failed to appear despite several invitations sent to him. The petitioners were Honorable Chief Ajiwe E, Mr. Alakunde Sunday, Honorable Adeshina Rumi, and Mr. Ajiwe Adekunde to for absent about a fee coyote who will be the law of a family land, the respondents. Three zero discussion. Three one. The committee gave ample opportunity to the petitioners to present their cases. Three two. During the discussion, the petitioners raised 
the following allegations against the respondent. One, that Mr. Lubesin and Nidiki of Odo Odofi fire Obafet. Mr. Lausa in Neti, Mr. Lausa and Indigi of Teti Osho village. Mr. Shonde, the son of Basi of Ikoro, and Mr. Kola Kuroko invaded Akoro, Olatunde village on 24 December 2023 with cough glasses, guns, and bulldozer, and forcefully encroached as well as cleared a piece of land measuring approximately 30 hectares belonging to the petitioners. Two, that in an attempt by the petitioners to all the invaders for further enforcement of their land, one of the petitioners was budgeted while few others sustained various degrees of injuries. Three, that the alleged invaders confidently boasted around the village and claimed that they were sent by the coronet monarch. Four, the cash crop amounting to millions of naira had been destroyed by the invaders on the order of the monarch. In view of the allegations raised by the petitioners and the, and the failure of the respondent to honor the invitation of the House on the issues raised by the petitioners, the committee embarked on the sports assessment of the land under contention and observe as follows. There is a land dispute between the residents of Akko Olatunde village and Oba Taufi Kaiwe Olabi Tiolo of Oba Femi. Two, the land under contention is located at Oba Femi Ode local government area of the state. Three, the monarch who was alleged of land grabbing brought in a developer to Akko Olatunde village where over 30 hectares of land belonging to the residents of the village was cleared and cash drop amounting to millions of naira were destroyed by the respondent. Four, the monarch did not have either registered or non-registered title documents on the disputed land. The action of the monarch is contrary to the anti-land grammar law 2016 of the state. Recommendations. Having listened to the petitioners and a thorough investigation conducted by the House in respect of the allegations levied against the respondent, the committee recommended as follows. That Open State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice should prosecute the respondent, Oba Tafi Kayode Oulabi, the Olu of Oba Femi Land, in accordance with the provisions of the Anti-Land Law 2016 of Open State and other extant laws. And two, the Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs and of the State Council of Commerce should immediately suspend the monarch for perpetrating acts capable of disrupting the peace of the residents of Akuru Olatunde village and the people of the state at large. The committee equally recommended that the Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs and Ogun State Council of Obas should immediately suspend the traditional ruler for perpetrating acts capable of disrupting the peace of the residents of the Agboro Olatunde village. He however called on residents of the village to be law-abiding and stay clear of any acts capable of breaking law and order in the state pending the implementation of the House recommendations. Motion for the adoption of the report was later moved by him and seconded by Honorable Sheikh Mukaka. I have moved a motion for the adoption of the report on the issue of land grabbing as regards of our Taufik Kaote Olabi. My name is Nero Michel Kaka, representing the people of Agoyo Olibola, Akko, Mamo. I have by second motion as I am moved by the good sellers. Thanks. Majority Leader Honorable Sharif Yusuf, however, moved a motion that the recommendation of the committee on the petition received becomes the resolution of the House, seconded by the Minority Leader Honorable Lukman Adeleye and supported by the whole House through a unanimous voice vote. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Commit, I made Honorable Yusuf Yarin Mr. Speaker, sir, 
It is the opinion of this honorable house that the recommendation of the House Committee on Justice, Ethics and the Public Petition on the petition received against Obata Fikaudi, the Ulu of Obafebi land, becomes a resolution of this honorable house and so forth. I Speaker, right on your Boluda is Yelemide, directed the clerk, Shakiru Adebaki, to communicate the resolution of the House to the relevant authorities. The Ogun State Government had earlier given Kara market traders the opportunity for the relocation at different times, which was shifted due to non readiness on the part of the traders, cautioning that the state government had been magnanimous in giving the traders a new deadline of 31st December 2024. The House Committee on Environment, chaired by Honorable Samsidin Lawal, while meeting the stakeholders, including the State Commissioner for Environment, Ola Oresoya, and the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Dr. Sam Oyele, assured that the state lawmakers would conduct an on-the-spot assessment visit to the new site at Ogiri to determine the level of preparation and available facilities for the relocation on Thursday, 15th of August 2024, and joining the traders to keep to the terms contained in the Memorandum of Understanding being signed between the Ministry of Environment and the Kara marketers during the meeting for a seamless relocation process. To see the entire environment, the Ministry of Environment and the House of Assembly member, to visit the site and the, and the markets. Even if, okay, my colleague says that the Ministry of Environment uh, agreed also, they are called, so we are going to get together to, to check the environment and see what is going on. At the end of the day, always smile. Earlier in his submission, the State Commissioner for Environment Ola Oresoya noted that government had put in place certain amenities at the new site at Ogiri to make the place conducive and safe for the traders and customers to do business. He enjoined them to take advantage of the latest opportunity offered by government till December 31st for the marketers to prepare to finally move to Ogiri market, adding that the state had provided solid structures at the new site for them to trade without any constraints. He added that enough effective security network had been put in place at Ogiri Market for the safety of the marketers and their customers. Speaking on behalf of the traders, the leader of the team, who is also the general chairman and the Seriki Kara Oluwa Nishola Market Olofi Ogun State, Oba Bolagbade Babalola, Onido of Idoibado Land, pleaded that the state government through the Ministry of Environment give them more time for the relocation from Kara to Ogiri assuring that they were ready to comply with the government's directive.